Welcome to the kingdom. Grace, grace. I am Pastor Fred Moore, and thank you for joining me for Sila Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. We're so glad that, that you're joining us on a regular basis. And let me say to you again, thank you for all your wonderful comments and encouragement. We're, do, we're simply trying to fulfill the will of God for our lives. And I want to give a shout out to my Godson and my precious wife and our essential team for encouraging me in doing this. Amen. We want to continue, beloved, what we said we were sharing with you the last time we was with you. We told you before that we believe now that we're at the end of the season. Let me just, first of all, let me correct myself and let me pray, lead us in prayer. Father, we just thank you in Jesus' name for this time of gathering together. Thank you for using us for your glory and thank you for speaking something that your people can use. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Last time, as I was saying, beloved, that we was together, I told you that I believe that the Lord told me to share with us on the subject of closure. Why? Because we're at the end of the year and we're at the dawn of a new year. And like retail, whether it's automobile makers or some clothing store, they have clearance sales and they have, if you will, closure where they're trying to move the old inventory to prepare for the new stuff that's coming in. I'm saying to you and to me, I believe at the end of the year, it's important that we have our own year-end clearance and closure. We have our own year-end clearance and closure, and we be determined that that old inventory that's been on a lot of our life, that we're going to move it out, listen, because we got an expectation that God's going to bring in some new things. Remember, the Bible says, Behold, I do a new thing. I believe that we have to make room for the new by getting rid of the old. Now, for our, te for our context, we refer to Genesis chapter 7 and verse number 16, where it says, And they went in, male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Genesis 7, 16, that's Noah and his family being told by God to go into the ark. And the Bible says, and the Lord shut them in. And I'm saying to us that he shut them in because that's a way of God saying, I want you to find closure to that old life. And then in Exodus 14, verse 26, we read these words, verse four, Exodus 14, verse 28, rather. It says, and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, and there remained not so much as one of them. The church, Moses and the children of Israel found closure. Noah and his family found closure. I believe it's time for you and I to find closure. Now, last time we was with you, we gave you the definition of closure, and we also included the word clearance in there. But what are the areas we believe that I, here's some areas that I believe that God wants us to find closure in. In Genesis chapter two, verse 21, beloved, it says this. And the Lord calls a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Genesis two twenty one. Here's the areas that I believe God wants us to find closure in. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Notice the B portion of Genesis 2.21. And he closed up the flesh instead thereof. Why do I read that? Notice this. From Adam's side, where God took his rib, and I'm not going to talk about Adam and Eve here. I want you to see that, at, well, that's, watch this, that it says God closed up the flesh instead thereof. Now, stay with me. And in John chapter 20, verse 24 through 28, after Jesus was raised from the dead, we read these words. Watch this. After Thomas, one of his disciples, doubted that he had come back to life, we read these words in Genesis verses 24, 28. And for the sake of time, I'll just read the, the latter portion. It says, then, sa then saith he to Thomas, reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. Notice this, beloved, that both 
Adam and Jesus had been hurt on their sides. What are you, what are you getting at, Pastor Moore? Sometimes, beloved, we got to find closure from the people whom we stood side by side with. Notice, notice now, the Bible says when it came to Adam that God closed up the flesh instead thereof. And Jesus told Thomas to touch him in his side. Now, Jesus would not have told Thomas to put his hands into his sides if Jesus had not found healing in where he had been once cut at, if you will, a thrust. So I'm saying to you and I that when Adam and Jesus was both healed by their side, that the side, listen, beloved, that the side represents someone who was close to you. You need to find closure for someone who once stood side by side with you and they hurt you. Because God, clo listen, don't, don't miss it. God closed up Adam's side. Jesus told Thomas, stretch forth your hand and touch my side. That's where Jesus was pierced at. You and I may remember that Jesus was pierced in his side. And sometimes it's a spouse, it's a sibling, it's an associate, it's a saint that once stood side by side with us, that injured us and brought us great pain. But if God closed up Adam's side and Jesus was able to tell Thomas to thrust his finger in his side, I'm submitting unto you that God wants you and I to find closure from some of the most painful periods in our life. Who was close to you and they hurt you? Y'all stood side by side. Y'all always said y'all had each other's back because can't nobody hurt you like someone that's close to you. But if Jesus found healing in his side, you can find healing from those who once stood by your side, but they hurt you. You see lot. And think about that. This is Pastor Fred Moore. This has been a C-Lot moment with Pastor Moore. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. God bless.